Hello, hello. Welcome back to Nine Little Aussies. I'm out in the garden and we've got some new friends to introduce you to today, which have been taking up a lot of our time and attention. So we will introduce you to them. And I've got a little bit of harvesting to do. So I thought I'd bring you along. Neo, 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 come. <laughs> What's she doing? What's she doing? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Come on, come boy, come big boy, come on. Up you go. <laughs> what are you doing, Neo? This is Neo. Neo, hello. Oh. Neo is the. He belongs to, well, he's not quite the newest, but he's one of he, the new babies. He's the second newest. And he belongs to our second eldest. He belongs to Jared. And he is a Labrador cross Great Dane. So he so is going to be, be a giant. <laughs> he's gonna and be, he's only like two months very, old very, and he's already nearly as big as me. Yes, look at the size the of heck? these paws. He's so big. He's going to be a big Like the boy. camera. Like the camera. Nope. I don't want to ready there. Oh my gosh, this is this is <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let him have a run. Yeah. No. no, Gracie, don't run, just walk, just stand still. He's after <laughs> he's like, I want to meet the kitty cat. We have a new kitty. Her name is Cat. A new kitten. Yeah. She's our first one. He's a frozen kitten in America, anyway. And what is her name, Gracie? Maple. Mm -hmm. Look at the camera, please. Look at the camera. This is Maple. She's so good at cameras. Oh, is she? He always looks at the camera. She's a bit adorable. So Maple no, has no. been inside. Hey, an she's inside. an inside cat. <laughs> I haven't took. She Maple did took all. <laughs> He tried to tap, tap, tap. Oh, she is so cute. I've, I've like, I slept with her. I haven't slept with her once, but I've those. She gets lots of cuddles, doesn't she? Yeah, she's a sleeping, yeah. She'll like, she'll like, um, play for 10 minutes of the day and then sleep for the rest. Yeah, she sleeps a lot. She's a baby. She's growing a lot. Well, we did get some really good, um, play with time with her. Yes. Those. I made a little toy with some chicken feathers, a stick, and some string, and then she just pats it. Yes. Apparently, Neil likes it too, so he just auto <laughs> wrecked it. <laughs> What's this little girl? It's the coolest little girl in the world. So this raised bed here is starting to really come along. These ones here are not quite, I have been harvesting bits and pieces. Um, there's celery, a lot of radishes, some broccoli, um, and a whole heap of rocket and a few other bits and pieces. The sun is setting. The garden is so nice right now. So I'm going, this one, yeah, I won't harvest anything out of here, right? Oh, actually, having said that, down in here, I think I spy a red one. I hope it's okay because it's sitting, yeah, well, that's not 
No, that's pretty good. I'll take him. And the others are still green, I think. Eggplant. My lettuce has gone to seed or is trying to bolt. I had we got a lot of um, food out of this garden with the lettuce, but look at this. Something is eating alive my silver beet. And the beans are kind of taking. I've got some bush beans coming in there. And Again here, there's uh, being eaten alive. Let me see if there's any more eggplant on this one. He's not big enough yet. Little guy there. This is Gracie's little garden bed. And she has nasturtiums in here that are flowering. It's a pretty little nasturtium. And everything else is kind of going a bit crazy. Oh, we've got some grass back there. Some peppers, some parsley. So it's looking really good and we're getting a heart. Like I'm coming out every day getting greens. Um, been getting a lot of silver beet and um, actually what happened to my... Oh, something... Something got that. I was getting a heap of kale, but it looks like something's gotten onto the kale. Um, huh. Well, that's interesting. It was looking super healthy just the other day, so I don't know what happened with that. Um, let me see. See, this one's doing okay, but I've it's now being dwarfed by the carrots and not getting enough sun, I think. With the celery is shooting up here, so that's good. I really haven't done I had a friend over the other day and we were um, I was getting her some produce out of the garden and she was like, Oh, it looks like you what have you been putting on it? And I said, Well I haven't I haven't put anything on it. It's sort of self fertilizing because of the hugel culture bed and the first season it did okay but this second season it's just going gangbusters um but also all that we had quite a bit of rain like last week and that rain then some really hot days um after that has made like the lettuce has bolted and quite a few things are trying to bolt um so I mean, you get that. We can't, I'm not complaining about the rain. That was really good. So, this nasturtium is going a bit cray cray. We need you to go over the edge. What I was envisioning with this was it more going over the edge instead of this way. So, I'm going to have to direct it a little to come down this way. You can see here how the lettuce is bolted. And it's got caterpillars on it. I'll have to come give that to the chooks, I think. Okay, so I've been working slowly, slowly on this new bed here. Um, and my plan there is to put onions and garlic in here. So it's a hugel culture bed that I've been building up. Still needs more soil on it. These guys here have been growing and growing. And we were all out here earlier today snacking on them and they are really yummy and mm, they're very very sweet and beautiful so i was having to tell the kids just leave some leave some on the plant because i haven't filmed it yet <laughs> 
because I wanted to eat all of them. But I've still got heaps of flowers, so we should have more. You can eat the whole pod, honey. Those ones. Mm. Can I eat another one? <laughs> one more. Let's see if there's any. Oh, here, help this. Well, uh, I don't know out. if they're full. These are the ones that we eat. I know, eat, but eat see, they're still them. filling out. They're not quite okay. ready. Oh, this one, 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 maybe. Mommy, what about these ones? We'll check them in a second. Can I eat it? Can I eat it? Can I Let eat me it? see. Hey! Off the garden bed! Off! Good. It's kind of hard with one hand. There's better ones over oh, here, Mom. Yeah, these probably could grow bigger, but look, aren't they beautiful? Can I add another one? I need one. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. Oh, there's one left for you, Gracie. Yay! Do you like them? Well, for a person who hates bees, they go, oh, okay. Are they good, Gracie? Mom, can I just mm. No, the other ones aren't quite ripe yet. Mom, check this side. There was more bigger ones. Ow, my cramp! Oh, my cramp doesn't last that long. This one has, is big and it has two in it. Right, Only ones? if it's full and ready. Do you want this one's full? No. This one's the biggest. No, they kind of get big and fat and juicy. Like this. Oh, I got one. Oh, oh, let me see the peas. Mm. Is there a pea in there? Let me see the peas. Or did you eat them already? Yeah, there's one more. Oh, there's one. Look how big my one are. Look how big my one are. My are pretty big. What about... Oh, my gosh. Oh, big... Yummy, <laughs> juicy peas. Don't eat them unless they're ready because some of those aren't fat enough yet. Do you one? think mine's ready? I don't. Let me see. Let me see. No, that's not ready. That one's not ready, Bob. Do you think this one's ready? Oh, they look good, don't they? I'm Is that good? That good? No, that one's see, no. Them. They I kind like of them. have to. They I get. Like the smaller ones better. They fill out and get kind Mom, of. Can I take this one? They fill out and get kind please, of chubby please, and then they're yummy. Please, I didn't please. like that one. Please, you didn't? I feel like the small ones are better. Please, Mum, can I eat this one? I don't think that one's... Let me look. <laughs> no, they're still tiny teeny. We eat get... all the big and fat please, ones, boys. Please, you got to let them get a little... Let's see if there's any on the other fence line that are ready. So, I don't know if it's too late for these cucumbers. They took a long time to take off. Oh, they've got a ton as a little one. These guys are what I am really excited about. These are English peas. Or, as we would say back home, they're just peas. Of course, if you say peas here, people think you mean like cow peas or... I'm trying to bust this open with one hand. It's kind of tricky. But look... Yeah, so cute. Um, only if it's ripe, honey. If it's ripe, you can eat it. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest? Look at that. <laughs> you want one? <laughs> they're so sweet. I want one. They're so sweet. They are. They're so sweet. Do you like them? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Another one. No, they're so yummy. You're a goose. These are so sweet and delicious. And if you think you don't like peas, you have to grow some. They're so yummy. And fresh off of the um, off the bush are just so delicious. I know that we're not going to have enough, I don't think, to freeze any. Which is what I really would have liked. But they're going to be very much enjoyed.
as we snack on them whenever we find them. But yeah, so this is an English pea is what this is called here, but we would just call them peas um, because we don't really have cow peas or whatever those other little legumey beanie things are. <laughs> I am still getting so many beans off of this plant, these plants along here, which are the ones that did nothing all over summer and I thought I nearly pulled them out. <laughs> you goose. And I'm so glad I didn't pull them out. What are you doing? Bring the capsicum. Put my capsicum back. Can I eat it? The capsicum? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, if you want to. They're probably yummiest fresh. Is that good? Are you hungry? <laughs> Goodness. That's what you call enjoying a capsicum or a bell pepper as they are called over here. Goodness. <laughs> I hope you're chewing before you swallow, kiddo. I got the chicken. You know the chicken for five minutes. There was a punishment in the game and he, she had to act a, for, uh, like a chicken for five minutes. Oh. <laughs> Is your five minutes up? I wonder what you were doing. Okay, we've just found this chicken stuck. I have to push it back here and someone else do it. So that's it. Okay. I got this back. I got it this way. Oh, this way. She got up. Just put it. She got up. Yeah, keep her walking. Keep her walking. Keep that's her walking. it. That's it. Oh, lady. Hold it. Hold it. I'll catch her. Come on. Ah, good job. Good job. Now we All don't right. want that to happen. Look, she, this is the one with one blind eye. Yeah, oh. she had one eye go back. So um, get, probably, I think she got picked. I don't that's know. That's probably why she got got stuck in here. Yeah. You probably could barely see out there. She was stuck like this. Saw that yeah, that was a good thing you came over here and she didn't get stuck there all night. No, you could have put them all in. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. I was just wondering. Help put them in. Yeah, I know. Help put them all in while they. Well, you can come back in a couple of minutes and they'll be in probably. So one last job we have to do is the boys are taking the young. These were the little chicks. Look how big they've gotten. The chicks that Mrs. Potts hatched and they're going, we're introducing them right now on dusk back into the flock. This is the I one that got that, wounded last time we tried yeah, to put them in. He got wounded. I think he got um, hooked on a piece of metal or something. Um, but we're going to put them back in the flock tonight so that they say it's better if you do that in the evening and then they wake up together. Oh, no. Ants? I hate ants. Ants are absolutely walking my life. But not walking through the dancing. Ants are the worst thing in your life, but not worse than dinosaurs. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's probably a fair enough statement. And the scenery, but they're not noisy. What would you rather? Get bit by a hundred ants or get bit by a dinosaur? Mm, yeah, probably the ants. <laughs> I think, I think um, the one that I was just carrying is going to be a rooster. It, oh, it may be. Man, I hope we get a couple of hens out of that. Little light. Yeah, I reckon, yeah, um, what's this called? Little Anne is definitely a hen. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so two more to get? Yeah, two more yep. to get.
Daddy's home from work. We got little chicky chick. He's not a chick anymore, mom. <laughs> No, that one's a head. Alright, let's go get them such I mean, situated head, before we go to basketball. Alright, we'll go put him in the in the pen. Oh. They don't know yet. Yeah. Right here. In his gas. We are running short of daylight. The sun is going down. It is a beautiful evening. We're going to finish watering a few bits and pieces. Gracie's just finishing some watering over here. We've got a sprinkler on. I don't know if you can see the moon is rising right up oh, over here. <laughs> it's hard to point out. We have to run inside, grab a bite to eat, and get to a basketball game. Um, our two teenagers are playing basketball tonight, so we will go and watch that. So thanks for hanging out with us. We will be back soon. Sunshine and raindrops.